What's up, YouTube? Van Man, back at you with another video. I want to say happy Sunday. Just had me a nice filling breakfast. <clears throat> mm. Better than money could buy. Please hit that thumbs up, like, share this video, and uh, please do subscribe. Help the channel grow even more and more. I uh, reached a thousand subscribers yesterday. I think I'm totaled at a thousand forty two right now. Boom boom. Shout out guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh thank you for tuning in, watching my videos, and uh, if you're on the road traveling, I hope you get something out of it. I hope you're entertained, I hope you're educated, and I just hope I just leave you with an overall good feeling when it's said and done. What all that said. I want to talk about <clears throat> natural disasters, man-made disasters, and your position in it as a nomad. Well, you're in a great position because as far as like the AT&T outage that happened the other day, a few days ago, I wasn't affected. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, until, you know, I got off work and I, I saw the news. Um, but uh, the, they said that thousands were affected, what have you. And uh, nonetheless, uh, we're very dependent on these mobile devices, especially a lot of us who travel over the road. Uh, because your phone is not only uh, for call, uh, text, email, and all of that and entertainment as your television like you're watching me but it's also a lot of people use it as a navigation tool I know I do and uh, I'm looking to switch over and get me a, uh, one of those garments or something like that yeah, just, just so I can have my phone freed up and one that has I think it may have a lot more features or whatever but anyway that's another video uh, but besides that one of the most handy things that you can have, and I'm going to go old school for all the old heads, you dig me. Coming from the day where uh, we had to show our work, yeah. We also had to know how to read a map. We can navigate a map. I know it's old school, but if your batteries go out on your phone or the system shuts down and your GPS or whatever, if your batteries shut down, the system, shut, the, the system shuts down, whatever, I got a map. I'm still going to know how to get around. Uh, I think it's very important that you get a map and acquaint yourself with a map, how to use it and everything. I'm not going to go through it here. I'm just showing you an example of a map that I have. Uh, it's one of these... <coughs> It's laminated. There's the eastern side of the country. There's the western side of the country. I'm over here somewhere. Yeah, but I can mark on it, do whatever. And there's all kind of maps, but get you a map, learn how to use it. So when GPS is go down and I use my map to get over here, but it was like a straight shot anyway. But uh yeah, it's very important to have some stuff like that. Uh, if you're in, if you're on wheels and you're a nomad, you're in one of the best positions of a for a natural disaster or whatever that goes down, man-made disaster, because we can move our house around. We can be mobile. I have solar. I have all the electricity I need. I have five, uh, much as ten gallons on board. Uh, water on board. Uh, I have a refrigerator. So, uh, barbecue grill, gas stove, all of those things. So, as you <clears throat> get out here on this road and you and, and, and you add things, add comforts to this nomad life, uh, you're, you're doing nothing more but making a better life for yourself and ensuring that when shit hits the fan, that you can be in a better position than a lot of these people will in sticks and bricks. Uh, I'll go over that 
because there's a certain security that we we seem to have because we have an apartment or we have a house and uh, I like to uh, I don't know what somewhat dispel a lot of that but that's another video but anyway I hope you got something out of this video hope you've been educated if any, what, anything somewhat entertained but get you a map have yourself to learn how to use it so you can get around. So that's one more tool in your toolbox that you'll have a knowledge besides knowing that moss grows on the north side of the tree, such as that, such as that nature. But I won't stay too long, guys. I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah, hit that bell over there. So you get notifications of the next time that I drop a video. And uh channel is growing. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing bigger and new things. But in, meanwhile, get your map, study up, and I'll see you around.